In part C of this problem, we're asked, also using this model, determine the nearest whole year in which the population will reach 50,000 people. In this case, the first thing to realize is what question is being asked. This is a given output, find input. We know the population is 50,000 people. We need to figure out how long it takes to get there. So the first part of this is to identify the equation that you would solve to figure out that information. You're going to replace P of T with 50,000. So your new equation becomes 50,000. There's the output we know. Here's the representation for any output, which is our function, 12,545 times 1.22 to the T. Now, there are a variety of ways to solve this. Right now, the only way we know how to solve this is using our graphing calculator and the intersection method. When we get to the next part of lesson three, actually a couple lessons from now, we're going to use a more algebraic process. But for now, we're going to go to our calculator. So I'm going to go to my y equals, and for y1, I'm going to enter 50,000. For y2, I'm going to enter 1, 2, 5, 4, 5, parentheses, 1.22. And then my exponent, when I use the calculator, I need to enter x, not t, because the functions on your calculator, at least as they're presented here, are in terms of x. Once I have my equations entered, I'm going to need to think carefully about my window. I'm going to press window, and I'm going to ask myself if this is a real world situation, which it is, then I only really care about values for x that are positive. So I'm going to start at zero, and my first reasonable guess for a high value for x is going to be 10. So let's see if that works. For y min, notice I skipped over x scale. I'm just going to leave that at 1. y min, again, this is a real world problem. I don't care about negative people. I'm not going to get negative people, really. So my y min is 0. For my y max, I'm going to look at this value here, this 50,000. If I want to see that part graph, because that is my y1, then my y max has to be at least 50,000. So I'm going to choose 55 just to be safe. Once I have my window selected, I don't do anything with y scale or x res, x resolution. I'm going to press graph just to be sure that I can see the intersection. Because here's the part I'm looking for right here. It's the intersection of the function and the particular output, 50,000. If I can find that input value that goes with the ordered pair intersection, I can solve this problem. So now I'm going to go to second, and then calc is on the first row. The calculate menu. I want to go down to number 5, which is intersect, press enter, and then I'm just going to cycle through the questions. First curve is yes, so I enter enter. Second curve, yes, that's my second curve. You can ignore the guess and just press enter, and there's my intersection. What I'm interested in is the x value, or in this case the t value. So my final result, if I round to the nearest year, t equals 7. So from the year 2000 plus 7, it takes until 2007 to reach 50,000 people.